Come on. Work to do, boy. Come on. I'm going to have to put Miranda back in the shed. It's not fair. What isn't fair? Evan's not doing schoolwork. Yes, he is. Field work. I told you how fond I am of hamsters. <laughs> yeah. I thought you were going to show me the ropes, not enslave me. These are the ropes. And you don't have a job yet. You have to impress me. Oh. Well, how many other applicants were there? I don't want to train you up and have you run off travelling. Oh, I will go travelling when I can afford to. Which at the rate you pay, it will be sometime in 2016. <laughs> don't stop. Hey, how's it? Hello. Can I get you a drink? Anything ice cold? No problem. Take a seat. Been on the road long? Feels like years. I think you're trying to create a beer. I've counted it twice and I... <gasps> oh, my God! It feels like a real step forward. I mean, no offence to the Springbok or the Bush Buck or even the Zebra, but a real step. Yeah, it's a good start. Well done. Do you think the cheetah will have enough prey animals to survive on? We're going to release her. I think she's got every chance. Well, time to get tough, she can pop over and take out a few of dates. <laughs> <laughs> you think he's all right? Yeah, he just misses his buddies, that's all. They don't like to be apart for long. It's a shame we have to move them one by one. Why are we stopping? Can you get the last giraffe into the bomb on your own? Well, I suppose so. Well, where are you going? Taking Evan for a walk in the bush. Cool. You can't, Duplessis. He's got lessons. Yeah. Don't release the cheetah until I get back. We agreed, Evan. If you have homeschooling, you take it seriously. You'll learn more out there than in any book. I'm sorry. I'm not wavering on this.
Can I carry your rifle? No. Not until he can't see us. Should see the place we're staying in. Sarah said it was a bit basic. Basic? It's a complete tip. Hasn't been cleaned in, like, decades. Rosie, where are you going? I I'm taking these people to Leopard's Den. I'll be back to do my shift tonight. Thank you. Know everything you need to know. It's a bar, Timber. How hard can it be? Evan in Africa. I mean, it's like you can lit match into a petrol tank, isn't it? And really, who can blame him for what he did? What did he do? Evan battered the snake's base with a garden rake. When Olivia went to bury it, she had to use 14 different matchboxes. And where are the kids now? At school? No school. Sarah's decided to teach them herself. And what's this Duplessy man like? Oh, mad as a box of bees. Oh, you'll meet him now with a bit of luck. It's way before four o'clock, so he should be sober. You don't like it here, do you, Rosie? But what makes you say that? We can make up our own minds. Thank you. We're slipping behind. The brakes are due today and we haven't even cleared the site yet. Well, I wanted to release the tutor into the wild today. She's getting impatient. When she's being released, can I come? Did you just listen to a word I said? Bricks slipping behind. I thought you were being homeschooled. Oh, Evan went with you. Where is he, by the way? Who? Evan. Well, he's out with Duplessis. Period three. Flora and fauna of Southern Africa. Are we there yet, Mr. Shreddy? We are. <laughs> Nice the car. Have I got a surprise for you? What are you doing here? Nice to see you too. You know Ruby? Hi. I asked you a question. I've come for my kids. I thought I'd surprise you. You always liked surprises. And have the nerve to say you're taking my kids. They're my kids too, and I want them with me. You agreed. I haven't come here to argue. What's this really about, Simon? I mean, you never wanted the kids under your feet cramping your style. I practically had to beg you to see them. It was different then. What's different now? Has your secretary slut decided she wants some kids to pay happy families with? So, how was your flight? Yeah, not too bad, thanks. And for the record, I'm not a secretary slut. I'm a PA. Haven't you got something to do? Well, miss all the fun. You trampled all over our children to get to another woman. Oh, for God's sake. I will never let you hurt them like that again. That's a bit rich, coming from you. What does that mean? Why don't you take Olivia for a walk? I'm going to wait and see my dad, Mr. Trevenian. Where were you when Olivia was bitten by this snake? That was an accident. You wouldn't have known anything about it if I hadn't phoned you. Don't tell me. Tell the court. What court? I've taken legal advice. You brought my kids out here against my will. Simon. It's called abduction, apparently. I've seen lawyers here and in England. You don't have a leg to stand on. 
I just thought you'd like to know that Olivia can hear every word you're both saying. Get rid of him. Let's all try and calm down. Please. If you'll be our guests tonight, then anything that needs to be talked about can be talked about then. Danny. He's their father. They have a right to see each other. Her name is Miranda. Mrs. Shrevenian says she's got something wrong with her digestive system. That's why her mum left her. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, could you get this beer off me, please, a little bit? She's a Nyala. She likes you. I hear you're not going to school. You have to go to school, Livy. Everyone does. Mr. Duplessis says the bush is the only schooling anyone needs. Does he now? Oh, my God, that's a leopard. Cheetah's silly. Evan saved her. Come on, it won't bite. Unless you get in the cage, then it might. He can't take them away, can he? That's not going to happen. I mean, maybe we should get a solicitor. Looking good, Mrs. Trevanier! Sarah, if we end up with courts and a solicitor, yes. then we've all failed. Well, so far, you've worked stuff out amicably enough. You don't know him like I do. If his mind's set on this, then we're really in trouble. Well, I'll show them what we're trying to do. He's not going to be interested. I'll get him on his own, then. Talk to him. He'll see reason. I'm off to work. Don't wait up. Rosie. Since when has other people's unhappiness been fun? Sorry? Always think about the wind direction first. Now, which way is the wind blowing? Which way is the wind blowing? Right. Now, you keep the wind in your face. Takes your smell away from the animals that you're stalking. Go on. See how close you can get without spooking them. <laughs> yeah, man, you got all the stealth of a pregnant hippo. <laughs> What's that smell? Yeah, something that'll make it through the night. Vulture. Where's his head? Eh, uh, poachers. Vultures are well known for their eyesight. Some people believe if they have a vulture's head, it'll look into the future and see the lot of numbers for them. It's a bit stupid. Yeah, well, desperate people think desperate things. We'll release her into a grassland area, which should suit her. And there's no lions on the reserve yet, so she shouldn't have any enemies to worry about for a while. What's the stop of just walking back in here and attacking people? Oh, she's a wild animal. She wants to live her life as far away from humans as possible. It doesn't seem very safe with kids running around. Danny wouldn't do anything that would endanger the kids. I'll explain a bit about what we're doing on the way. Look, I'm, I'm really tired. I'm, I'm going to stay here. I told you they wouldn't be interested. Saved her, Dad. That's true. Got between her and my gun. Evan, she's your animal. Why don't you do the honors? Uh, is, is that safe? She won't even look back. Our first big cat. First of many. <laughs> Better go, Evan. <laughs> Seems fine. Hello, 
Olivia's taken to it like a duck to water. She loves animals. Animals love her. What about Evan? He hasn't been at school for weeks. We thought we'd get him comfortable here first before we tried the schools. That's the easy option. He has to mix with other kids. Even if he doesn't like it at first. He'll flourish here, Simon. I'm sure of it. I don't agree. Well, we've put everything we own into this place. There's no going back for us. With all due respect, that's your problem, not mine. She'll never let you take them away from her. You know that, don't you? Then we'll all be back in England, won't we? Enough potatoes here to feed an army. Have you ever had a growing boy in your house? Look, why the sudden interest in my kids? When they were a bus ride away, I don't recall too many invitations. I know it might have seemed like that. It seemed exactly like that. For weeks, Simon has been getting depressed about not seeing these kids. When you called and said that Olivia got hurt, he got upset. And it got him thinking. Well, he must have been, but there's no need for him he to... He asked me that if the kids came home, could they live with us? You don't want someone else's kids littering up your life. No, it's not exactly what I'd envisaged, no. But... Tell him. I love him. If he wants his kids with him, and that's what he's going to get. What happens if she can't catch anything? She will. Well, that's our gamble. If she can't fend for herself, then she's in trouble. But I think she's going to be all right. Oh, uh, um... Mm. Ruby's a vegetarian. A what? I don't eat meat or chicken or fish. Yeah? I'm sorry, we should have asked if you were a vegetarian. It's not exactly rare these days. Bloody rare around here, but about as rare as a steak. <laughs> When I was in the army training, they stuck us out in the middle of the bush with rancid baboon flesh. You know, green, crawling with maggots. Did you perceive? Mm. Enough. I, I don't really want to cause a fuss. No fuss at all. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh, he's 
loving that. Kids. <laughs> oh, that was wicked. I bet you can't drink this. Creme de menthe. Black currants and whiskey. That's enough. You've had your job. Who are you? A mother. Don't make me hit you. <laughs> I um, saw Sally Heston at the shops last week. Sally! Her dogs had puppies. Wow! Have you been to Ashton Gate? A couple of times. Everyone was asking after you. Can we go to Woods City when I'm home? Of course we can. Who said anything about going home? This is his home. When I go back on my holidays. I'm just going to go and check on the animals. own has gone into this place. All our money, our dreams. Like I said to Danny, none of that's got anything to do with me. What about the kids? What about them? They love it here. Really? Talk to them. Before you rip them apart again, hear what they have to say about living here. That's not fair on them. I'm not turning this into a tug of war. <laughs> and a court case doesn't do that. Because I'm not going to just roll over. This will end up in court if that's what you want. You know it's not. Then talk to them. OK. I'll talk to them. And if they say no to coming back to England, will you drop all the legal stuff? If I think they've said it without you leaning on them? I promise. I'll consider it. No more than that. <laughs> I hate this country. Have I ever told you that? I think you may have mentioned it. It's so bloody unsophisticated. I'm a sophisticated person and I can't help that, can I? Bit of sick on your chin. I can't live amongst farmers and people shooting lions and no shops and none of my friends and people fighting. Let's take you home. Hmm. He's lovely, my dad. And he deserves everything. But why, why did you have to marry that woman? I tell you. She goes back, back, back to England with the kids. Be great because Dad will go too, and then so will I. But he won't be happy. I think it's called a dilemma. Is it? <laughs> We'd best all hope she says then, hadn't we? Come here. I soon feel better. Ah! Ah! Stand still. What? Stop. Ah! Good night, sweetness. Say good night to Miranda. Good night, Miranda. You like it here, darling? What do you miss about England? You. I miss you too. More than you'll ever know. Would you be happy if you all came back to Bristol with me?
think she'll say? She'll say what she thinks. She always does. I don't want my kids anywhere near a courtroom. If he wants a fight, that's the only place we can fight him. I won't have it. And we'll all end up in a bedsit back in Bristol. And that's the reality of what we're talking about. What did she say? Where's Evan? I'm settled now. I want to see more of you, a lot more. What about Ruby? She wants you too. No, she doesn't. I promise you she does. Where do we live? Partly with me, partly with your mum. What about the school? We could try you back there again, or we could... Um, no. Or we could find some other place. If there's any problems at school, I'll be right there at your side where I should be. I like it here. Will you think about it, Ellen? That's all I ask. Will you do that for me? Danny, everything OK? Well, I have to we could have been eaten alive. What's going on? Hey, I'm sorry to upset you, Dad, but this is a dual way to live. Or die. You're drunk. No. You've got blood on your hands. It's not my blood. Come and see. Oh. I found her by the side of the road. What is it? She wasn't strong enough to survive in the bush. The hyenas got to her. Duplessis. Yeah. So how bad is she? Bad. I think our luck may have just run out. We should have put her down when we had the chance. Place. Evan! How is she? Who's who? The cheetah. Who cares? When can we leave? It was horrible, so Mr. Tate just pulled me out and drove me home. Well, I'll go and see him and thank him. No, don't you dare. I think I'm like some drunken teen. Why on earth would he think that? What are you doing sitting in the dark anyway? Are we going home? I haven't been much help, have I? You've got what you wanted. You must be pleased. I don't say that. If it wasn't for you, I don't know what would have happened to me after Mum died. You were my rock. 
And I'll never forget that. But you seem to think that one would hate Sarah. That she'd hate the fact that I've found happiness with someone else. I've tried to start a new life for myself out here. No, it's just... Well, I don't happen to agree with your analysis of my life. She would have been happy for me. Dad... Oh, look, can we talk about this, please? I don't feel like talking to you right now. Satisfied? Go to sleep, Sarah. Look, nobody is saying that Evan isn't a complicated boy. And nobody's saying that it's perfect out here. You asked me to listen to him. I listened. What time is it? He was all right till you ran off with her. If he's troubled, it's because you made him troubled. I brought him out here to see if I could build him up again. You tried. You failed. Can we please do this in the morning? One day he's going to hate you for this. Good night, Sarah. There's a cheetah. She made it through the night. No, I didn't even think she'd do that. Have you seen her yet? When are we leaving? You don't have to come with us right now if you don't want to. Um, we're going to have a few days holiday and we can pick you up on the I'll way back. I'll go with you now. If that's what you want. We all have to go home because of Evan. Not because of Evan. Because we all want to be together. But we have Finish what we came here to do, Mr. Germanian. Mr. Duplessis will finish it for us. I'll make sure he does, Olivia. Speaking of which, come on, boy. Still two giraffes left to release. Last thing you'll ever do around here. Ah, morning. Lovely morning. I'm gonna make a start on claiming the swimming pool. Will they be all right? Yeah, yeah. They're tougher than they look. <laughs> Which one can't say about everybody, eh? Go and open the gate, boy. Quite a sight, eh? More than a century since you're off walked here. You say goodbye to your father for me, boy. Never been much good at farewells. Have a good trip home. Any hope, 
place this. Certainly couldn't call it out. I thought Evan could have the guest bedroom till the others come back. Sure. Simon, you know I said I, I was happy to have the kids to stay. That's why we came. I meant every word. Good. Which is why I don't want you to take this the wrong way. I don't know much about children, and I certainly don't know much about Evan. But... But? <laughs> if you've got something to say, Ruby. He's a hurt boy. And he needs to be healed. I think this is where he's meant to be. I think deep down, you know that. Have I ever told you that you're the most incredibly beautiful woman? Even though I've dragged us all the way out here, spent all our money, and I'm about to drag us all the way back. Even though. I'm sorry. What for? Without you, I'd never have come out here. I'd never have seen the things I've seen. If there was any other way... We gave it one hell of a shot, didn't we? We did. Thank you, Mr. Trevanian. She is one tough lady. Will she go back to the wild, Mr. Trevenian? I oh, know, we tried that. My leg isn't strong enough. What happened to her? Well, it looks like Duplessis just found himself a new pussycat. There's no reason she can't have a long, happy life, which is down to you, Evan. Shove them in. Fold them. I don't want you looking like a scarecrow till I get back. Let me do it. Are you sure you want to leave straight away? Because your dad said he's quite happy.
I have a word with Evan, please. You've got the rest of your life to have a word with him. Please. I'm so glad you said you'd come home with me. Well, we're good. Because it makes me hope you've started to forgive me for being... Well, not the best dad, really. I want you to live with me. I want to make everything all right again. I'm going to be a good dad to you, Evan, I promise. Even if it means that I have to leave you here. You don't want me to come back with you? More than anything in the world. But I've seen you here. This is where you're meant to be for now. This is where you're needed. You're awesome here. Going straight home? Down to Joburg <laughs> for some R&R. &R. You can take the Vignala with you if you want. <sighs> what do they taste like? <laughs> Your mum's going to bring you home for a visit soon. Until then, I want letters, emails, photographs. I want to know everything you do. and I'm going home. You're not my dad. Well, thank goodness for small mercy. Danny! Damn it. The bone had bounced off. Oh, I'll drag like this is a dangerous thing. He's angry because he's an idiot. Look out! Pack your bag, Olivia. Where are we going? It's so a secret. My mum and Mr. Shivani are coming too. It's just you and me. It's an adventure. She's like...
Next year on ITV1, Miss Marple tries to track down a poison pen letter writer who delivers more than just the mail. Gerald McEwen, Harry Enfield and Kelly Brooks star in brand new Agatha Christie's Marple. While on ITV2, Scary just got sexy. The Winchesters investigate a suspicious plane crash and there's more paranormal events in Supernatural. Yeah,